most of the time when you hold back it's because you are sensitive to how others will respond but it is a holding back and big pockets of everything but the tissues <laughs> um, do you need some distractions <laughs> <laughs> thank you yes <laughs> um <sighs> I've had a uh, very, very blessed life. Well, we can tell. <laughs> we believe you. In my youth, um, and I didn't know, I didn't know of Esther, I didn't know of Wayne Dyer, I didn't know of anyone, I was young. But I used to say, people would say, do you believe like you believe? I, I believe. And I pointed to my heart, and I'm like, you have to feel you have to feel it. And through life, people have watched my life unfold and say, everything comes your way. And I met, I met well, not met, but I learned through Wayne Dyer. I've learned, learned through you and connected the dots to understand it better. Yeah. My, my wife... Who I married just about a year and a half ago. We believe and we study together. And we have, our bag of marbles has just jointly grown to um, a lot of good and no bad. We, we had drama. And Are you so setting us up for a shoot of drop? No, it, it, I'm sorry. I, we had some, if you are, get to it and let's get over it. We had, we had, we had some dramas in our life, but we practiced we and they went about, away. What are we talking about here? Because as much okay. as looking at now is not as productive as looking where you're going, explaining how you got there one, one is of, even less productive. One of, one of the simple things So what do you want right now? Right now what do you is, want right now? Don't be hard on them because you're not really rid of them. We can tell. I have been able to rid my life of the negative people, I, the negative things. One of those includes my wife's daughter. Well, maybe they went away. Yes. But they didn't go away. <laughs> so, oh. and we're going to tell you how to stop that tug of war by acknowledging that everybody is where they are and that's okay. And it's not your job to fix it. It didn't need to be fixed. You're not the stage manager. You're not the law of attraction. You are a participant in life experience. And your wheelhouse, your awareness environment is between where you are and what's in your vortex and your movement toward that period. And I think my, and I hate to use the four letter word fear, but I think my fear was that my, my focus or my alignment and making that go away is great for me, but I don't want to deprive her. It's not good for you either. This is an environment based upon the law of attraction, not the law of getting rid of things. There's no exclusion. You can't push anything away. And when you try, then you spend time trying to justify why it was a good idea for you too. You see, now we are benefiting by the story that you have told to begin with, but you do have a lovely point of attraction. And then something got in it that didn't feel so good that needed to be rooted out. No, no, just not amplified, just not encouraged, just not growing. Just let it be what it be and let it be all right. You see, your inner being doesn't exclude things from its point of view. Your inner being just doesn't push against any of them. Your inner being does something that most humans aren't quite ready to do. Your inner being loves it. Your inner being is so good at finding the positive aspects of things that no matter how many negative aspects there are, your inner being always finds the positive and hooks up with those. And that's what you want to do too. Especially someone that's related to you in some way we're not asking you to look at the details of anything and say I like that thing that I don't like we're just asking you to selectively sift the details that you do like because you live in a world with billions of other humans 
who have come with different intentions they have different beliefs they have different desires they have different vibrations going on and you just want to calibrate your point of attraction to the things that you have figured out that you would like to attract into your experience and you don't have any responsibility to change anybody it's like you want to say if you were different then I'd let you in but you're not different so stay out well that hurts you that hurts worse than falling on the toilet on your back that hurts that's what this is all about that's painful you see you're in pain anytime you're not loving and if someone is unlovable then look for someone who's lovable just decide you're gonna be a lover because you're born to love but what's happened since so many humans all really have calibrated to each other somehow you've come away with the flawed premise that it's your job to love each and every one of them and love each and everything about every one of them well law of attraction does not go like that because you can't attract wanted and unwanted at the same time so just let it be just let it be and you know what the easiest way to get there is to adore the diversity of your time and place adore the variety adore the different points of view adore the vortices that are being born out of your differences look at what's going on in your world today so many people so fearful that someone else has the power to mess up their experience when only you have the power to mess up your experience only you have the power to mess up your experience because the other theory which is totally bogus goes something like this if others have the power to mess up my experience I must control them which you can't do so then you feel broken or inferior incapable of not being able to control something that was never your intention to control what you want to control is where you look what you want to control is how you feel what you want to control is your calibration between you and the source that is you quick follow-up question though so if I which I feel I did I stopped looking at what I didn't want and it did go away but again it's the relationship well, where that went is away. it it's somewhere around here <laughs> because we're talking about it we found it in here it didn't go away it's still in your bag of marbles and it's all right that it's in your bag of marbles you see you activate it every time you talk about it going away oh it's back every time you say it's gone no it isn't you don't want it all to be gone just the parts that aren't a vibrational match to what feels good there are many positive aspects if they're not easy to find then don't look for them if every time you look for a positive aspect you stumble over a negative aspect then cease the search but we know you're hearing what we're saying yes thank you nothing goes away nothing goes away you've either made vibrational contact with it or you haven't if there's something over here that you don't want to make vibrational contact what do you do make it with that or that or that or that or that or that but when you say I'm not gonna make vibrational contact with you I'm not gonna make vibrational contact with you I'm not I don't want I don't want to I don't want that, 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 that. <laughs> oh here we are now I have to talk to you good everything really thank good. you thank you really good really good if you like this video don't forget to subscribe